Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today on the Vintage Speed Garage channel, I'm going to give you a montage update on all of our projects. Uh, so stay tuned. For hey guys, good morning. Today on Vintage Speed Garage, this episode is going to be a little bit different than the, all of the previous ones. We're not really working on any big projects today. Uh, today I'm going to give you an update of where I've been, what I've been doing, and why you haven't been getting regular content. Uh, so I'm going to try and get back into the rhythm of things, you know, life, uh, life and time. and None of those things seem to mesh for me here the last couple months. And uh, I haven't really had time to dedicate to the channel. so. Um, I apologize for not putting up regular content. I have been getting a lot of work done on our projects, but um, nothing that I felt was uh, worthy of filming at the time. I needed to just turn this stuff out, and uh, I didn't have the time to set up cameras and, and manage that. So I'm going to take a lot of footage that we've shot over the last few months. Um, I'm going to walk around and give you updates on all the projects in real time, and I'm going to announce uh, uh, that uh, one of our projects here is up for sale, and I'm going to uh, try and show you guys a good detail of the of the truck so you can uh, maybe if you're looking for one of these you can you know throw your hat in the rings okay guys so here's an update on the 71 bump side project uh, old blue which is my son Parker's truck We've uh, continued cleaning it up. We put some stock wheels and some nice beauty rings on it. Um, we're still doing body work, so we're going to fill all these trim holes here this week and get uh, get everything smoothed out. Uh, we've gone with uh, HID H4 conversion bulbs, and uh, the HID is really great; gives it uh, good visibility at night. We're currently just running a single tank because we're going to short bed. This bed, long bed here, we're going to take 16 out of the front, 4 out of the back, shorten the frame as well like I did on the uh, 7.3. We've gone through the interior and cleaned up some of the interior, got a nice original mirror for it, put the visors back in, and uh, we've got a bunch of trim holes here to fill up where it had the uh, snaps for the camper cover for the back window. Uh, She runs great, has been very reliable, and uh, we're super happy with this truck. Does need a lot of body work, but uh, that's something we're going to attack over time, and we're going to start on that this week. So yeah, overall, it's been a great truck. We went through and did the polyurethane body mounts and got the body and the bed level, so the cab and the front fenders now match, you know, all the body lines match up and uh, adjusted the doors a little bit, adjusted the fenders a little bit, adjusted the hood a little bit, and now she's looking pretty decent. The motor's been running great, that 360, um, with just a little bit of tuning here and there, the 360 has been super reliable, runs very smooth, and we're really pleased with it. We did the uh, electric choke conversion on the Autolite carburetor, which has been really nice. Uh, now that it's nice and warm, I don't think the choke's even activating, which is as it should be. But uh, uh, when it was a little colder, the choke uh, was nice to have. It would start right up off the choke. So there's an update on Parker's Old Blue 71 uh, F250 Camper Special. Uh, our plans are we're going to, you know, do the hot rod thing. We're going to short, short bed, convert it. Um, shorten the frame, put the 8.8 .8 rear axle in it, the Crown Vic front suspension. Uh, for powertrain, we're going to keep the 360 and the C6 for now. Um, maybe down the road we'll do a uh, drivetrain swap, but for now, um, that's what we're going to run. So, uh, Parker and I have settled on that. Uh, we're going to get rid of the big camper bumper in the back. And, of course, get rid of all that uh, leaf spring suspension uh, for campers in the back that probably weighs a good couple hundred hundred pounds of steel but yeah overall Parker loves the truck I love the truck I think it's a it's a bitchin truck we drive it all the time uh, between the two of us and uh, it's just a great project
So now, on to the 7.3 diesel. A lot of work's gone on on this truck as well. Um, went through and uh, got all of the sheet metal repairs done, such as the door handle uh, on the inside sheet metal that needed to be repaired on both sides. Went ahead and fixed that up, replaced all of the rivets, uh, punched out all the rivets and used some quarter 20 hardware with nylon lock nuts uh, to make it easier to remove the window regulators down the road. Uh, work continues here on the rear doors. I do have uh, window regulators and I'm going to make a video of installing an electric window regulator in a manual door. Um, that's going to be coming soon because I know a lot of you guys are doing conversions on these old manual doors. And the regulators are not the same. In the back here, uh, I've got, did a lot of work on the bed. So we've got, uh, all the bed sides are tacked in place now, spot welded, all the way along both bed rails and into the back corners here of the bed. So bed sides are good and solid now, as they should be. Uh, I replaced the hinge corner here, I made a piece of sheet metal and uh, welded it in. I replicated the uh, sheet metal hinge mount. Uh, I fabbed that up to match kind of the factory look of the factory hinge mount on the other side. I think it works works great and looks good. This side of the bed actually lines up better now than the passenger side. I've got to raise that lower hinge a little bit to get this body line squared up on the passenger side. But now uh, it's got a good functional bed, replaced both tail lights, so you know now uh, now it doesn't look like uh, it's been rear-ended here. Fixed all the little cracks and stuff around the tail lights. Um, that was pretty easy sheet metal work on both sides. Still needs some mud and putty to clean it up, but uh, she's looking pretty decent. The cab corner, I welded up the uh, the hole that was punched in the cab corner here and just threw some mud on there for now. So it's looking uh, a lot better than it was. Still needs, still needs to be blocked out and finish worked on uh, the corner, but from from casual glance, looks fine. And all of the welding is done on the inside corner of the pillar as well, the C pillar. So that just needs to be, just needs to be primed, and then the panel thrown back on here, cover that up, uh, and we'll be all good there. The uh, cowl, replace the cowl, replace the front hood, so that's looking uh, looking proper now. So that's an update on the 7.3 OBS Ford, which uh, kind of brings me to what I alluded to earlier. Um, the truck that's for sale is the 7.3. Um, the uh, the bump side isn't going anywhere, so uh, that. I told Parker when we bought the truck that the only the only reason I or the only way I'd buy him the truck is if he promised he would never sell it. So he can he can give it to a family member, but he can't ever sell it. So uh, the bump's not going anywhere, but the OBS is. So if you know anyone looking for an OBS Ford crew cab that's been short bed converted, um, you know this truck's running 20s, 20 inch weld wheels and 35s. Um, the 7.3 runs really strong, just needs a set of glow plugs. Uh, I put a set of eBay glow plugs in it and it was fine for a little while, uh, but those glow plugs don't last and uh, it needs a good set of auto light glow plugs. Uh, the tags are a few months expired, I think they expired uh, end of January. So uh, if anyone's looking for one, let me know. I'm going to put up a separate video with a walk around of the, uh, of the 7.3. And I'm selling that to fund another project. Um, I love the truck. I really don't want to get rid of it. But right now, I need the money more than I need the truck. And um, I'm going to try starting, going to start a new project with the funds from the 7.3. Uh, the big thing I'm trying to get back to here is our 66 Mustang project, which we've got our new long block. I just got our stainless uh, hardware kit here for the motor so I can start putting all the accessories and components back together. And uh, I've got to clean up the timing cover and the oil pan and get those... Uh, bolt it back on, get the intake back on it, uh, so I can get this thing back together and drop it into the uh, Mustang. Now I've also got to drop the transmission because I'm changing out the front and rear uh, seals as well as the uh, drive shaft input shaft seal 
um, input bushing, sorry, in the back of the tail housing on our C4 transmission. So that's going to be coming up here in the next couple days. I'm going to drop that tranny out, get the rear drive line out, swap out the U-joints on the drive line, and uh, get those seals in that bushing replaced on the trans so I can get our long block bolted into the into the frame. Okay guys, so there's uh, an update on all of our projects here except for one. And I think we've got to go down and take a look at that last project. The truck I'm talking about, of course, is Kevin's big blue badass F-350 gasser with the 460 in it. Um, he's talking about putting a cam in there. He's talking about doing his exterior mirrors, but we haven't seen anything yet. Chevy tow mirrors because they're flipped out when you're not pulling. 